I'm Andrew Bernard, Director of the Great Lakes Research Center at Michigan Tech. And I'm going to be talking to you to today about my laboratory, the Marine Technology and Acoustics Laboratory here. Um, today I've got some of my undergraduate researchers with us on the docks of the Great Lakes Research Center to tell you about some of the interesting research that we're doing involving marine technology. Um, first I'll start with Tim, who's going to talk about beach safety. Hello, I'm Tim Cirelli. I'm a fourth year electrical engineering, uh, part of the Sense Enterprise. Uh, this is a beach hazard warning system. So what this is meant at is to replace the flags that you see on beaches all over the country. It has red for not safe to swim, yellow for it could be dangerous to swim, and green to that say that it's fine to swim. Uh, the uh, National Weather Service uh, puts forecasts out for different beaches. What this and we're able to pull out that data in order to replace the different colors depending on what time of the day it's depending on what time and what uh, the weather is like at the beach. Normally communities, especially around the Great Lakes, only can afford to send someone to change out the flags once a day. This allows for live updates based on the weather and weather conditions and can help increase safety and swimmer awareness for the different dangers around the water. Uh, now I'll go over to talk about the nerd. Hi, I'm Andrea Udovich, and I am a third-year mechanical engineering student on the Sense Enterprise team. Uh, so this is our NERD device uh, that stands for Nautical Emergency Rescue Device. So the idea behind it is that for smaller communities, especially is, is part of our target, um, our target group, is that if they can't afford to employ someone to, say, have lifeguards on duty, watch stations, things like that, the NERD would, in sense, be a replacement for that. So the idea behind it is you're able to, anyone, like say if I was struggling in the water swimming, someone else would be able to come out, take this, toss it in the water. It drives it simply just with a remote control like you would control an RC car, boat, something, that, something along those lines. Um, the idea behind it is having a life-saving life rescue device in, for example, calm water now, and then um, a life support in uh, rougher seas when, um, when this would be enough to support a swimmer. Uh, so now we'll actually have a demonstration. My uh, my colleague Carter will drop her in the water and we'll send her off. She can go pretty fast. <laughs> Next, we will hear from our uh, other colleague, Dylan, or Fiona, on our uh, next project. Hi, my name is Fiona Chow. I'm a second year software engineering student with Sense Enterprise. The project that we're looking at here is sponsored by the Navy. It's an underwater ice acoustics project. So for example, like right now our sensors can sense the nerd above the surface of the water, but the bulk of this project is going to happen in the winter. In the winter we have a lot of ice along the portage, and the sensors we have in the water are kind of like ears underneath the surface of the water, so it's able to sense magnitude and direction. The purpose of this project is to be able to navigate and have better understanding and situational awareness above the ice. Um, so in the winter we'll have these sensors underneath the water, and then we'll be able to detect what happens above the ice as well. So that will allow us to better understand what we can sense underneath the water, above the ice. And then next we'll be hearing from Dylan right over there. Hi, I'm Dylan Bennett. I'm a third year mechanical engineering technology major here with the Sense Enterprise. I'm on a project sponsored by the Coast Guard and the Air Force for a mass rescue device. What we've got here is a two-part epoxy foam right off the shelf, just regular pieces, and you mix them together, stir them up, and you basically it just blows up into a giant foam in seconds, and hopefully it'll save lives for drowning victims or cruise ship accidents, anything like that of major, major importance. So Tim and I are going to demonstrate to you how it works.
thanks for joining us on our Facebook Live tour of the Marine Technology and Acoustics Lab today. Uh, I'd like to thank my students for helping out and showing some of their progress. If you'd like to learn more about what we're doing here, you can visit our webpage, sense at uh, mtu.edu or our uh, Michigan Tech Sense Facebook page. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.